future is unfolding, literally, at the speed of light. This glowing, flashing, simple blue light could be the sign of a medical miracle in the making with the potential to save millions of lives and deliver billions of dollars in profit to this room full of eager investors. This is what actually generates the energy. What flashes through this tube is ultraviolet light, on its own, highly dangerous, but safely harnessed inside this box, a new medical device called a hemomodulator, ultraviolet light is being used experimentally to kill hard to treat diseases like hepatitis C and HIV that have been resistant to conventional therapies. And it's working. So we decided actually, let's go after the ones that are fatal. That's how we went about it. And we started having outstanding results. Scientists who've seen the device work its wonders call those results exciting, impressive, even unprecedented. One study explains the device works by using high intensity UV light, which not only kills the viruses, but causes the body to step up its own immune response. When we say it kills the virus, I, I want to be careful with, uh, with using that term. In our opinion, what we believe we are doing is making a personalized vaccine out of a infected subject's blood. In one animal test involving monkey's blood infected with a simian form of HIV, more than 99% of the virus was killed with just one exposure to the hemomodulator. That was in a test tube. Then three other monkeys also infected had their blood exposed to the hemomodulator. Two out of three showed drastic reductions in the amount of virus present in their blood. In mice infected with influenza, the hemomodulator produced similar amazing results. The treated group not getting sick at all. The untreated group of mice becoming severely ill. In the hemomodulator's only human test to date, conducted with FDA approval for an experimental device, 10 patients infected with hepatitis C and not responding to traditional medicine had their blood treated with the hemomodulator. Results showed the amount of hepatitis virus in the blood was reduced by 50 to 80% though two patients did not respond at all. Here's how it works. A small amount of infected blood, about three to four percent, is removed from the patient. Inside the machine, it's exposed to a very precise amount of ultraviolet light for a precise amount of time, inactivating the virus. That blood, now turned into a personalized vaccine, is then returned to the patient's body, prompting the immune system to swing into action. Each treatment session takes about half an hour. Side effects from the hemomodulator practically non-existent so far. Fact finders showed the hemomodulator studies and test results to this Long Island expert on liver disease. She's cautiously optimistic. This is a promising therapy, but with people I have to understand is that on its own, I don't think that it's going to be uh, beneficial in the long run. But used in combination with already approved therapies, I'm very excited about what potential results would show. She's calling for larger studies to prove the device really works. So what does the FDA say? Well, nothing publicly, but FDA documents we have seen confirm the agency has seen this device and allowed human testing to continue. We also contacted the American Medical Association. Right now, they are withholding judgment. They, too, had no comment. Now, if there's a story you want us to look into in depth, tell us at our website, cw11.com slash factfinders. And one other thing, obviously, right now, this product is not available in the United States, but the company says they do have approval to market it for sale in India as well as South Africa, so some countries are going to get it first.